Hi guys, um, I'm gonna try and um, explain how I've created my QR code attendance system for my students. So here I have the Google Forms um, open and if you go to, you can just Google it, just type Google Forms and you have, a, you have to have a Google account though. So here is, you can click on blank form, we're going to create a new form. And let's say my student's name is Anastasia Marquina. And all I really need is the full name for the form. And I will choose the multiple choice and option one will give me my name. So basically this is the form title and this is the question and the next thing I will do is go to add-ons if you don't have an add-on you can click here on this three dot thingy and click on add-ons and choose the uh, email notifications for forms click install or whatever however you it will show you to add it and it should show up here, a little puzzle this. So click on email notifications for forms and you're gonna create a new rule. And your full name could be your studio name because that's where, what they will see, <laughs> the parents, that is. And then your email address will automatically show up here who should receive notifications. And here you will type your student's address. I'm just gonna use my different email address, notify submitter. And let's see, click continue. And email subject, what I would like to do is the full name it will automatically show the full name, the full name that you wrote right here. So that would be your student's name. And then an email subject, as I just write, is at the piano lesson. And you can delete this. That's what's going to go into that email. It's just an email notification for your parents. You have created the rule. Okay. You can certainly upgrade to premium, but I don't need that, so no thanks. The next thing you want to do is go back to this triple dot thingy. Um, and now we're actually going to create a QR code. In order to get a QR code, you need a link, like an internet address thing. So click here, and then click on this get prefilled link. It'll take you to your form. So that's what your form looks like before it is um, submitted. So we can actually submit the form. Okay, and see you get this code right here. So go ahead and click left click on it and it will highlight the whole thing and then copy the address. So the keyboard shortcut for copy is control C. And what you need to open is the notepad. Every computer comes with some form of a notepad. And go ahead and paste it there. Now, it will not work until you change this little tiny thing. And what you have to do is change the view form. You highlight it and type right into it. Form response. And make sure that this R is capital R because I tried it with the just the regular R, little R, and for some reason it didn't work. So you have this new link. What you want to do is you want to highlight the whole thing, copy it again, control C, and then go to the QR code generator. Whatever, whichever one you want to use. I'm using the Go. QR me, uh, go, sorry, go QR dot me. 
but if you Google it, it'll give you plenty of options. So here, we're actually gonna paste this link that you just copied, and paste is control plus V, and there is our link with, you see this little form response? And here is the new QR code. Now, this is a very, very complex QR code you see here. What we can also do, if, is you, if you go to Google and you click uh, Google Link Shortener, okay, there it is, Google URL Shortener, paste your, that long link that we got and then click Shorten URL and you get this, this tiny little one, very short. Copy it. Copy it. And then that's done. Let's go back to our QR code generator. Delete this long one. And this is the short one. Do you see how much simpler that looks? I like it better. But either one will work. The next thing you want to do is download it to your computer. Click download and this window will pop up. You can save it, download it as a PNG or JPEG. These are both kind of like a picture formats. Um, I don't click anything here. You can tweak with it if you want, but I'll save it as a JPEG, okay? So now it's in my computer this is what it looks like, right? So now this is ready to be scanned. Okay, I'm gonna minimize the window for a second. I'm gonna close this and close this. And what you wanna do is rename your, I'm um, sorry, wrong window. Rename your picture that you downloaded. And you can go to your download folder and just rename it from there and create a folder for all of your uh, QR code pictures so that you know which one belongs to which student, okay? So that's the video about how I created one. The next video will be, uh, the next part will be how I actually scan and how it works. Now before I go there, I wanna show you another thing. If you go to your form, we can close this, if you go to your form right here, see while we were creating the QR code, we already got five responses. This is just because for some reason the form automatically gets scanned and anyway. So what we want is the results to go somewhere. You can leave them in your form um, like this, just not do anything. You can actually, there it is. Or you can or it's like create spreadsheet and it will automatically send it to the spreadsheet, to the Excel spreadsheet. With, but it will be on Google, it won't be on your computer, it will be a Google sheet. Click on this Google sheet and create a new spreadsheet. Okay, so you can do with this if you want. So that will create a new spreadsheet. Click create. And it opens actually automatically. Now you see while we were doing this, um, it scanned itself like five times, which is totally fine. All you can do is that that happens, click on the one of these rows or several rows, or I'm gonna actually do all rows, hold it and drag it down like this, let go, right click and delete rows. So now you have absolutely blank uh, spreadsheet. So from now on, when I'm going to scan the QR code that I created, the data, the timestamp, and the full name of my student will go um, right here, okay? Uh, so the next video, the next part I'm going to create is how I actually scan it. So we'll be back in a moment.